Dude, I had um, I had the first one. Dude, my dad got all the way up to the last level on that game. Cause I mean, like I said, I was pretty young, you right. know, when that came out, and yeah. uh, so he really played it. Like I was at that kind of age where games like that were still kind of tough for me to kind of get a grasp on. But watching them was always cool. Um, so like my dad got to the very last level where you're fighting Neo on the blimp. Oh that? yeah, that's your that's your tombstone. No, what was it? Oh yeah, that's why you died. Tombstone. I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, where you fight him on the blimp, and he shoots like the different colored like energy balls at you. By what is is that a flying fish? Oh, for the it is. What is? Oh god, it's still nighttime. <laughs> um, but yeah, and so like basically you just have to recognize by the color like which ones you can hit back at him, and like this level caused my dad so much mental anguish. He ended up chucking one of the PlayStation controllers. Thought he was gonna break it. Like, and I'm sitting there like, I feel like this level's really easy. Like, uh, it's, oh, okay. you. yeah. Like, it's kind of like the, um, like, I think the uh, koala dude was harder than that. Oh, I hated that boss. Yeah, like, with the, when he uh, shoots, throws the boulders at you, and then you gotta, like, dodge the TNTs while you try and spin the boulder back at him. I mean, I, and it's really stupid, but, like, I always had a hard, the hardest time with the first boss. Ripperoo? No, um... Ripperoo's the first... Or, no, is the big fat... The big fat Indian Why guy. is that a giant slime with an umbrella? Because it's <laughs> raining. What is happening? <laughs> what is this game? I don't know, can you take Can it? I take it some... Oh, oh my god! god. hat! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! That's the best! Can I, like, float down with it? I hope so. Oh my god, I'm gonna that be offended if you can. Awesome. Oh, dude, this game. I just, it just got like. Oh, this game got all kinds of better for me right, right? now. I'm kind of feeling it now. The umbrella hat did it. Well, that's that's really what I was looking for <laughs> in a game. Just, you throw umbrella hats Don't in, in a yourself. game. And shut up. You throw umbrella hat. My umbrella hat should save me. Okay. Right. What, the water should just like go around you? Can it just be daytime now? Please? Yeah, this is the longest night. Flying fish. It really is a flying fish. This it's is what they call it. Oh, my God. But, um... The Longest Night. That sounds like either a, a movie, video game or a movie. Is it? I think it's a movie. It makes you think of not Five Nights at Freddy's. It's like a survival game. What is it? Not, uh, maybe Seven Days to Die is what I'm thinking of. Maybe. Um, because I'm not sure. Have you ever played Seven Days to Die? I have not. Oh, we should... I think you can play multiplayer on it. Because that's one game... It's very, um... Like, the gra... It's very old school graphics. See, I and think, that's what I like. I think it's an indie game. Um... Maybe I don't know if Seven Days to Die is one that I'm thinking of, or if it's Contagion. Oh, Contagion! No, I'm my thinking. Favorites. I think I'm thinking uh, 99 problems. 99, <laughs> but zombies ain't one. Yeah, right. Um, no, wait. Now it's is zero it 99 rooms. level? 99. No. Oh, no more room in hell. No more room. Oh, that game's so weird. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Is the is what I was confused in. But no, yeah, Seven Days to Die is a, has a very big crafting element to it. Does it? Um, and like building, building up of like houses and and stuff like that. Cause like at night, the zombies just go nuts. Which one is H one Z one? H one Z one's the new one that was everyone was really hyped about. Um, that they had to make a bunch of fixes to because like the looting system, the it was like the spawning of the loot was really really lacking. Like if you jumped in a server and like somebody had been through the area within like an hour, you would find nothing. Ever? That's, like, that's nothing stupid. would show up. So they fixed that, and then, um, they have headshot-only servers, which, as realistic as it is, I think would be super frustrating. Actually, like, that's what Contagion's like. You can only kill zombies with a headshot. It's not like, headshots insta-kill, you know, five shots to the body. It's, if you don't headshot... You know they don't die, and I, the aiming I think with like because bow and arrow is kind of the the most primitive weapon you get, unless you happen to stumble upon a gun. Like it's relatively easy to craft a bow and arrow, right? Because it's just like some sticks and like some cloth or something like that. But um, I would really like to go outside. Yeah, what is going on? <laughs> this night is oh god, flying fish. <laughs> is it like something you have to do to make it daytime? I don't think so. I think you just have to wait it out. I thought it was turning into day. Dude, Flying Fish I feel like is an extremely effective enemy as it can dive down into the water. And fly after you. If you leave. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, so you know, only headshots can kill, which in the aiming of bow and arrow is not the easiest thing on that game. So I would imagine that would make it a bit tough for uh, defending yourself. But the big thing with that game is they've made it all about like forming teams and teaming up in groups and stuff. But so like if you come up on a group and you're by yourself, you're, you're dead. Just try to hide. Because basically. most of the servers, people are just like they they just want your stuff. They don't care because like when you die, you drop like a little bag that has all your stuff. And um, so like that's people just want your stuff. That's all it is. And so it doesn't even matter if you have anything good or anything. How they, real world is that? They want your stuff. Oh, that's very real world. See, we were in a post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic uh, world. Yeah, people would just be killing anybody and everybody just to get their stuff. I mean, I'd kill you for yourself. I mean, whatever. You know. Flying fish! Go away! Jeez. Can I kill one of these things? Oh, God. Well, I guess we're going to find out. Mallard duck. Duck game! I'm pretty sure I just beheaded that mallard duck. Duck game! Cha! Dude, it came at I you! I split it in half! Dude, it came at you, though! Like, it had it coming! I split that mallard duck rotten chunk! You also have a half a heart left. If you have anything yeah, to deal with, I think you might I have, um... A pose in my inventory. inventory. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my word, I hate this. See, I don't even use the hotkeys. I just use the trigger. It's killing me. Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Action! Woohoo! Yay! 58 seconds. I don't know why there's a timer for Oh, because it heals you over the course of 58 seconds, I think? No, it, it brought my hearts back. Or maybe it's like... Friggin the amount of time before you can use another one? Fish. Jeez. I feel Slimes. like for a fish, it's overly violent. Right? Like, it's a fish. It's That's not like it's a flying piranha or something. Even the duck attacked you. I know, right? Dude, everything's just evil in this game. Apparently. Whoa. Stupid flying fish. Dude. Trying to set a torch. And, uh, that actually worked out really well. Really, really. I think I took out the turn. Ooh, more umbrella hats. <laughs> Just let me set. Oh, wait, can I? Okay, yeah, I can set it. What is this? That's the fish you killed. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's just where it landed. Yeah. I was like, there's just somebody's remains down here. That'd be cool. Um, can I? Oh, that would actually be like real worldly. Yeah, just you gotta just get down here and it's like just the foreboding of like six dead terrible bodies. Terrible things. Yeah, I just find bodies and everything. It's just like, oh, God. you find bodies and like one really really fat fish. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Is it just stone? I don't yeah. even imagine that's just stone. Uh, pretty sad torch. Torch, torch, torch. Oh, <laughs> it extinguished my torch and then instantly lights back. Oh God. Okay, he's gonna find a way down here. <laughs> um. I think he can get through wood. Dirt, I mean. Uh, 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 I think you're okay. Uh, I hope. <laughs> okay, I'm set torch. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna mine down here, see what I can find. I just really wanna know what that is. I just picture, like, give those dudes, like, that, the gay guy from Family Guy. Oh, yeah? Like I, picture, I like, I picture that being the voice that that thing has as he's trying to kill you. The Eater of Souls? Yeah, he's like, why well, hello there? You're just like, no, go away. Hey, Chris. <laughs> See, I wonder if maybe, like, it doesn't show you what you can make until you have enough to make something. Maybe. Like, once you can make it for the first time, then, yeah. like, it stays near. Like, that, it'll show you. That could be. What you can make. God, I really wish it just wasn't nighttime anymore. Does it show me what time it is anywhere? Hitting that, maybe? Um, it looks like it's daytime. Hmm. Whee! And this is a small world? Jeez. Yeah, it does look like it's daytime. I don't know why these things haven't gone away. Oh, I know. I mean, um, oh, what's it called? I don't remember. There's a certain area on the map that, like, there's always, the, like, the Eater of Souls. See, it's not... The Eater of Souls are just in a certain area. The Demon Eyes are what come out at night, and the zombies. Um, so you're just gonna have to deal with those foreboding around you. Look it, look it up, because I forget what it's called. It's a certain area of the map, is what it is. It's like a demon area. And that's, so that's probably else? why those ducks were attacking me, because... Oh, God. Because I was in that area. Oh, I'm gonna die. Uh, I don't remember 
exactly what it's called. Come at me, bro. I'm jacked. With my umbrella hat and my sword. Can he not get through there? Is he gonna try the other way? See, I don't think I have any way of escape, though. Environment, the corruption. Corruption, that's what it is. I'm in a corruption area. And so that's where the Eater of Souls are at. And so, dad. So I was waiting out nothing, by the way. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> um. Oh, God. Oh, God. So that's open. Okay. But in his defense, he did tell you that this was going to happen. Wait, if I jump, do I bust through that? Oh. Don't break the ice, man. Don't break the ice. Are we playing games now? I mean, kind of. Hey, man. Shush. So I'm gonna try and mine up if I can, so I can get back to my my home. I don't know where my home is. I think once I get back to my home, we'll uh, we'll end this run of this game because uh, this, is, this has been a bit tasking on my my brain tank. Also, it right says now. Uh, I'm reading up here. It says you can block them. Oh, oh he, god, he found you. He got in. Um, it says you can block them with anything. Oh really? So yeah. wood, dirt, whatever. Wood, dirt. Um, it says though, note that eaters may continue to spawn from the surrounding corrupted dirt, though to a lesser degree. Oh, cool. That's good. Get away. Um, eaters of souls may look weak when only one appears, but they can be found in groups of around ten. Oh yeah. I've seen big groups of them. They're they're fun. Da, da, da. Stupid slime. I got gel. I just wanna. Oh god! You know what? I just lose uh, coins, so I'm just gonna let him kill me and get back to the spawn. Yeah, not a bad idea. You you were decapitated by some stuff. What do I even? Can, what can I even do with my coins anyways? At this point, yeah. What do you buy? I know you can get like other dudes who have, like like how this guy can help me with crafting. There's like other guys who can like help you with magic and like help you with weapons and stuff. God, the eater of worlds is a giant, it's a giant penis. Well then. Like, look at it! Oh, yeah, he comes out and just... You have to, like, take out his entire body. Okay, but tell me that's not Zelda-inspired. Um, you know what? It just reminds me of, uh, Tremors. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of the one boss in Zelda that they... Like, that they... Goes overhead. And, like, when he comes out, he shoots uh, their arms uh, in all four uh, directions. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, okay. So I think we're gonna end this run. Right here. That was, that was taxing. Till the next time. Ability. Next time we again. come back to play this again, because there's a lot to intake in that one episode. <laughs> well, not one episode, but one uh, one hour. sitting of playing. Sad that an hour of this game has uh, <laughs> drained me that much. It amounted to half a house. Yeah, not even. It's not even. It's two walls and two doors surrounded what, by dirt. What, what is what a house? Is, if what not are that? those, dude? Go kill one. They look like Ewoks. Kill one. Okay, so we're gonna... Goldfish! Why are there goldfish on land? Alright, I'm done. What is... <laughs> okay, we're we're out for right now. Alright. Uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys next time. Oh, man. <laughs> what? What?